All right, Shalom. I want to give all glory, honors, praise, and fear to Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I also give double honors to apostles and others of great wisdom who do well, who are starting out the house of David, the Bible, the Adal, the 144,000, the elect men here in this earth to spread this wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and sincerity, and the truth. Yahweh being the true name of God of Israel. Yahweh Shah being the ignorant, all Jews, Christ, and Shalom, and the name of Yahweh Shah. Bahashim meaning in the name of, and Rakakwadash translates spirit, holy, holy spirit. Um, so today's video is going to be a review about the movie uh, Interstellar. Um, as you guys watch it, it's about like space time and uh, uh, look at it. it says the end of the world would not be the end of us. That's spiritual. See, I didn't even see that. I tried to make a thing on was it uh, Tuesday. I had to go to the doctor's appointment and um, I was at the doctor. Mankind's next step will be our greatest. Well, who who who's the original uh, man? All right. Who's the original human? Okay, so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. Right now, well, we're gonna get to this right here. You know, Esau believes, um, in this movie, um, Earth is defiled, man. All right, and um, let me just see if I can grab a summary on it real quick. Summary. Um, uh, Interstellar is a 2014 epic science fiction film directed and co written co produced by Christopher Nolan. It's Matthew Mahoney, whatever. Uh, set in a dystopian future when humanity is struggling to survive. Why? Right? Because the earth is defiled by the inhabitants thereof. Um, is struggling to survive. The film follows a group of astronauts who travel through a wormhole near Saturn in search of a new home for mankind. <laughs> Alright. No. Cast, uh, no production, plot, do you not have plot? I guess, um, let me see, uh, Reddit. <laughs> okay, so I'll try to explain to you the ending scene of the movie. Yada, yada, nope. Interstellar for dummies, guys. All right, look, it says, hello, people. In this plot, I will try to break down what I saw in the movie, at least so that I understood it. Feel free to theorize with me or chat. Now, the movie standpoint, Interstellar is its issues. However, considered a sci-fi movie, I saw so far and good thing Prometheus arrived at some point to break the monotony, whatever. Look, so... It says, why these barcodes in Dust of Kubernetes? Well, later Kubernetes. Uh, look, in the movie, the Earth is um, defiled, and they're trying to find a new home. All right, now Esau, believing that his houses are going to continue forever. Remember, let's talk about it. Fuck, all right, hold on one second. Houses forever. KJV, I typed it in wrong, that's why. Psalms 49.11. So let's start off with that. Um, Now, the earth is complete fucking dust bowl, right? Because, uh, 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 they're, they're only, because the earth is defiled, man. You know, they can only grow corn. And apparently, they is what they call Yabashim Al Shai in the movie. They make it seem like it's some alien uh, figure, right? You say, well, they are trying to help us. And they opened up a black hole. And they're trying to help us to stay away. Right? That's not what Yabashim Al Shai wants. Hey, Yah Bashim Shai wants his people to rule. And in the video, you know, I didn't see one fucking Jake in that whole movie. I'll be, no, there's one Jake. It was one Jake. And when that one black guy. You guys know it is that one black guy. <laughs> Anyways, Psalms 49 and 11. Their inventory is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their names. And that's spiritual because at the end of the movie, they called, um, <laughs> The, the the hospital that the guy was in, a Murphy Station, right? And it was named after his daughter, right? But this is Job 9.24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Now, Esau believes in his sick heart that he's going to destroy the earth, right? And, and then try to find new planets. And this is what he's trying to do at the moment. This is why he's trying to go to Mars, all right? And really, you know, these other planets are our inheritance. And I'm not necessarily sure how long this video is going to be. But um, it could be long, it could be short. You know, I don't know. But that this is our inheritance, man. Now, Esau has completely defiled Earth. Okay, there's trash islands. Okay, and, and you can tell, it's not Jake that's doing these things, right? You, you, you don't see uh, Jake running um, Monsanto. You don't see Jake running Amazon. You don't see Jake running 
Walmart, okay, and all these big companies that print out pounds and mounds of plastic, okay, it's never Jake, okay, it's always Esau, man, and Esau is the accuser of our brethren, so he would blame everything on us, man, as, you know, Jake is wicked, okay, he'll shoot uh, his people down the streets, he'll do that, he'll do this, and well, Esau's in the back eating babies, okay, plotting on how to destroy the earth more and more so that we can inherit our blessing to keep us down, you see, and in the movie, okay, they're doing the same exact thing, man, all right? Uh, they, they they have to farm a uh, 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 corn while they're on the earth. Now, the the guy, okay, the scientist that recruited the guy named Cooper, who's the main character in the movie. Um, now Cooper, um, he was like a pilot or whatever, right? And and, and he went to NASA, right? And NASA recruited him, right? And in the movie, and the guy, okay, he basically left all his fucking kids here, right? Uh 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 uh. uh to basically discover life on uh, different planets, right? And, 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 well, not necessarily discover life, but to test out different planets for life, okay? They, as they call them in the movie, gave them, I think it was like, really two valid options on the planet they should go to, all right? Now, in the movie, all right, they, 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 they the his daughter, which became also a NASA scientist, her name is Murph, and um, she realized like what the hell her father did, which her father really uh, abandoned her, right, to go onto other planets, right, to basically start life there, right, because they gave him like little uh, eggs and sperms to where they can hatch babies, you know, the 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 what's what's I'm gonna look for the um the fake babies, you know the. Where you, uh, nut in the, like, little bottle or whatever, excuse my language, and, uh, you know, they mix it up with the sperm, and they can create babies that way, you know, the fake, uh, no soul babies, you guys know how it is, anyways, so, yeah, um, but, you know, Esau, he left the kid, and Murphy, okay, which is his daughter's name, okay, she continued in the work, all right, here upon the earth, and she was trying to save the earth, but you can't save the earth from the destruction that Esau has done here upon the earth, man, this thing is set in full, man, the most high, uh, 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 he made it to where Esau will completely destroy the earth, man. And really, Yah Bashem is really going to destroy North America, man, which is known as Babylon the Great within the scriptures. Um, is Isaiah 24, verse 3. The land is utterly spo uh, emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord Jehovah has spoken this. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. All right, and Esau has broken the everlasting covenant. Okay, there, there's land sabbaths. All right, there's you. You're supposed to let the land rest for seven years and then plant. What does Esau do? And Esau does not do that whatsoever. Okay, Esau keeps on planting and planting and planting. And in the movie, it shows you the outcome of that. They have giant dust storms. Okay, the earth is basically a fucking desert, man. And all okay, they can possibly grow is just fucking corn, man. All right. I'm now to the point where they're trying to move the earth to that new planet, man. It's crazy, man. You know, and then and then they're speaking about how uh, they, as they call them, which the Most High's name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, were trying to help them, right, move the earth, man. Basically, what they're saying, so they can create more and more and destroy more and more, man. All right, this is Revelation six verse four. It says, and there went out another horse that was red, and there's power and power is given onto him. Given, given to him, and I there's just so much I can explain about this movie. All right, you guys just have to watch the movie itself. But is it interesting? Yes, okay, because it goes into you no know, space and it goes into time and things of that nature and how you can manipulate time and space and all that shit, right? But most of the movie, I just feel like these niggas are lying, and, that, and that's just how you have to assume Esau is. I right? know it, it, it's some shit. I can't lie because I watched this movie when I was younger, and um, I didn't necessarily understand it, and I still don't understand it now because. You know, I I understand to the point where I can see the truth out of it, which is you know Esau's kingdom is not going to last forever, and that's what he wants. All right, but we're at the end of his kingdom now, and the Most High is going to have to literally kindle the earth because if we don't kindle the earth, that's really what's going to happen, man. All right, if Yahweh Shemash I didn't have mercy upon Israel, okay, his devil would completely destroy the whole earth, man. That's why he says he he's a harbinger of death, man. Right, 
Revelation 6 verse 4, and there went another horse that was red and power was given unto him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. All right, and peace was taken from the earth. It was given unto him a great sword that they should kill one another, man. And, and this is what Esau does, man. Not only does he kill everyone that he sees in his sights, man, he also kills the earth, man. All right, ever since Esau has come into power, which he's only been in power for 600 years, you know, counting. All right, he has completely destroyed the whole earth. There are trash islands. Let's forget about the pedophilia islands. There are trash islands, all right? And, and this is why Job said he wouldn't set them with the flock of his dogs, all right? Because at least a dog understands uh, the cycle of, you know, helping the grass grow, pooping on grass, and, and, and it'll make the grass flourish, okay? Eating grass for stomach pains or, 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 or really, you know, just being an animal, man. Esau is less than an animal because he doesn't even understand how to take care of the place that he lives at man it's a job 30 verse 1 but now they that are younger than me ha younger than i have had me in derision whose fathers i would have disdained to sit with the flock of my dogs yeah where too might the strength of their hands profit me whom in old age was perished all right oh, whom in old age was perished man all right so job said that he wouldn't slot you job said he wouldn't set them with the flock of his dogs man and there's a good reason esau would fuck the dogs man Right. Yeah, where to might the strength of their hands profit me in whom in old age perish for for want and famine they were saw to fleeing in the wilderness and former times desolate and waste, who cut them mallows, which mallows goes back to a marshmallows by bushes and juniper roots for the meat, so most like even mallows and juniper roots to survive so they can rule over us now, man. <laughs> they were driven a forth from among men, they were the they cried after them as them after Sorry, they cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the cliffs of the valley, in the cliffs of the earth, in the cliffs of the rocks. Among the bushes they were raided, under the nettles they were gathered together. They were fool they were children of fools, yet they were base men, they were viler than the earth. And if someone is viler than the earth, what do you think they're gonna do to the earth, man? They're gonna completely destroy it because it's not their home. You know, Esau is really the alien. He is the foreigner to this earth, man. Granted, you know, Most High made him. Okay, this is why the Most High is going to destroy him, man. Because he's not made to inhabit this earth in peace, man. But the rest of the nations, they know, all right, they have some type of spirituality about them, some way, somehow. This man is just a fucking devil, man. And he's on the earth to destroy the earth. This is uh, Obadiah 1 verse 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord Jehovah. All right, so he's on the movie. He's, he's going to space, okay? He's talking about, yeah, man, we took a lap around Saturn, and we're going to hit the black hole, and they are going to help us, and all types of shit he's man, talking about. But in the scriptures, the most I said, he hates you, Esau. According to Romans, the ninth chapter, all right, Malachi 1, verse 4, okay, you're the border of wickedness, man. The only a damn wicked nigga would imagine in his head that the most high is going to uh, deliver him and give us and get and give uh esau our birthright because our birthright is going to other planets this is john 14 verse 1 let not your heart be troubled you believe in the most high also believe in me all right in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so i would have told i would have told you i go to prepare a place for you and that shows that the wisdom of yabashim Shai is forever man it, it, it just keeps on going on and on and on this is why you see uh, new parts of space being built up all right, uh, the earth, the, the, the space is always expanding, okay? The universe is always growing and growing, man, because Yahweh Hashem is preparing a place for Israel, man. We're going to be ruling this earth forever. Okay, so the little one shall be as a thousand, man. And, and the planets, we're, we're going to be inhabiting planets, man. Do you don't think there might be new life on the planets, right? Animals, I'm talking about like other species, but animals and things of that nature. We don't know, man. All right, you see, the weirdest things to us are the most beautiful things to Yahweh Hashem you see, so we can't necessarily take that for granted, all right? So where Esau is trying to go into space, and Esau, they say he's trying to blow up the sun, all right? Or trying to block out the sun. I forgot which one it was, man. This man's a devil, man, all right? All to spite Israel is really what he's doing it for. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive me, receive you unto myself. And where I am, yeah, you may slap you. I just got up, but I want to put out a video because I got work at 4 o'clock, and you guys don't understand how it is. Um, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, go, ye know, 
in the way you know, right? So the Most High Yahweh Shemashai has his son who keep preparing a place, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, man. Yahweh Shai is making a place for us, man. <laughs> All this devil is trying to kill us off, man. Because this is the Esau's plan from the beginning, man. All right, to kill us off so he can inhabit the earth, man. But he can also do it environmentally as well, man. All right, because Jake, you know, it's not necessarily like, the gun that can also kill you, okay? It's the way how he treats the environment that can kill you, okay? Him spraying chemtrails, all right? Uh, 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 harp and all these things, whether uh, manipulation, okay? that That's all things that Esau does to kill you so-called niggers, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's Genesis 27, verse 40. And by thy sword thou shalt live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion. That thou shalt break the, his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherein his father had blessed him. Where, wherewith his father blessed him. Right? So Esau hates us, man. So-called white men hate you, so-called Negro Spanish and Americans. written within the Bible. And Esau said in his heart, the days, of my, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. You see? Yeah, let's look at that word slay. I just want to see what this means. Slay. Uh, harag. Uh to kill to s murder destroy murder slayer out of hand to kill slay to destroy ruin right and he wants to ruin the earth you see in many different ways man this is why it says in matthew's 24 chapter the 22nd verse except those days be shortened there shall no flesh be saved but for the elect those days shall be shortened because esau is literally going to destroy everything he built within world war three in america because nuclear destruction is going to rain in different parts of the earth. And if it wasn't for the hands of Yabashim Shai, the whole earth would be fucking destroyed, man. This is Revelations 21, verse 1. It says, And I saw a new heavens and a new earth, for the first heavens and the first earth were passed away, and there is no more sea. That word new is the kainos, man, of uncertain infirmity. New, especially in refresh. So the Most High is going to refresh, man, refresh the earth, man. I. Uh, so Israel can have a fresh planet because this devil has destroyed the whole fucking earth, man. All right, and that's what I have for you guys today. I hope it was edifying. I hope you guys are uh, enjoyed it. And with that, um, I'm gonna say shalom and call Hulayim la Yahweh Bashem, Al Shai Bashem, Kapadash, and the water that's returning. Thank you so much.